Welcome to this unboxing video on the Up Plus 2 3D printer. When you receive your printer, it'll be in a box like this, and you'll see the, the serial number visible through the outer packaging. So we'll just go ahead and open it, take a sharp knife and just cut the packing tape all the way along the top on both sides. And then use a Stanley knife just to cut the packing tape away along the middle seam. And the box will open. We've got the 3D printer software there on the top of the box and we have a handy pull handle so just hold the outer box and pull the inner box and get a third hand, a magic third hand to help. the software off and put it somewhere safe. Then we've got a little card here that says please read before opening. So we're going to read it before opening. Open box and unpack equipment. So that's what we'll do. We'll ignore the rest for now. We'll have a quick start guide once we get it out of the box. We've got this cardboard box here, it's full of uh, accessories. We've got the, the uh, filament in there, the power supply and other such like things that we'll have a look at in a wee minute. Put that on the floor just now, give it to my colleague. And then inside here is this UP 3D printer packed in foam. So take the power cable out and then you're probably going to need somebody to hold the outer box while you're lifting this out. Taking care not to drop it. just slides off to the sides. And there you go, the up plus two 3D printer. It's quite miniature, eh? Okay, the first thing to do when setting up the 3D printer is to remove the shipping clips. There's one just in here, and you just remove that by sliding it down and it's a 3D printed clip with a remove me tag. Then on the platform itself, there's another clip and uh, you just pull it up at the back and it kinda twists and comes out. And then behind the print head is a piece of foam and you want to just remove that. Then in the in accessories boxes, you'll get a, a spool hanger and this just clips on the side. There's a hole just in here with the ribbon cable, just uh, you can see the ribbon cable through it and you just hang that spool hanger on and push it down. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to install the perf board. You get a few pieces of perf board in the accessories box. Now this is a little bit fiddly but you've got some spring clamps all the way around the, the, the platform and if you just pull this left hand side one out of the way and then push the perf board right to the back so it's lined up at the back edge underneath these two clips and then using a pair of long nose pliers just carefully pull the rest of the clamps out and round so that they're all holding the perf board in its place. Okay and that's the perf board installed. So now, I guess, we need to install the filament spool. Ok, 
Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install this filament spool. So just make sure that you've got a nice clean edge on the end of the filament and then hang it on the spool hanger. Now the filament feeds up through this section here. And then it goes through this piece of uh, PTFE tubing, the filament guide. Once it's poking out the other end, you just plug this in to the into the extrusion head. Like that. The power block is in the accessories box and just plug it in to the connector at the far right hand side of the print platform and then plug the USB connector in. The USB connector is difficult to see but it's underneath the stepper motor just at the back of the platform, just underneath here. Okay, now we've got the power plugged in, the USB cable plugged in, and uh, the next thing to do is to initialise the machine. So on the software, from the 3D print menu, choose Initialise. The unit will beep, and then it will start moving the platforms around, searching for the home positions. Okay, that beep indicates that it's done the initialization correctly. Then the accessories bag, you get this device. It's a platform calibration device. It has a magnet on it and a three and a half mil jack. So all you do is on the extrusion head, you clip it on and make sure that the nozzle is sitting inside the hole. Then plug the other end into the three and a half mil jack on the base. And make sure that the cable is fully seated in, it's connected correctly. Now in the software, from the 3D print menu, choose auto level. The platform will step up. Let's make sure this cable's out of the way. The platform will step up until it hits the micro switch. and then it will do that on nine positions around the perf board. Nice, nice big audible click on that micro switch. Okay, and that procedure is now done. The next thing is to remove the platform calibration device and do the nozzle height detection. So to do this, you just pull the magnet off the uh, the calibration device and unplug this 3.5mm jack. Plug this end of the 3.5mm jack into the platform and there's a little sensor device here and leave the other end plugged into the base. Now on the software choose 3D print and then nozzle height detect. The platform will rise up 
and then the nozzle will go along to the sensor area and the platform will raise up until, the, until it senses the exact height of the nozzle. Choose perf board in the software to let it know the, the, the height offset. And then that procedure is complete. Now what you want to do is unplug the 3.5mm jacks. Now our advice would be really careful here because there is a tendency that when you pull the 3.5mm jack out it's quite a tight fit and the power plug isn't a tight fit. So when you pull the 3.5mm jack out, watch not to suddenly catch the power plug. Unplug the power because this platform will just fall quickly under its own weight. So that's the 3.5mm jack out. Just plug it back into the platform calibration device and put it back in its bag. Now we're into the fun stuff. In the software choose 3D print maintenance. Click extrude. And you'll hear that beep and the print head will start to heat up. Now up here you have the, the, the filament coming through this little piece of uh, this guide that's really to stop the filament falling down under its own weight. Uh, a handy tip is to make sure that the, there's still a tiny little bit of filament shown at this end. Try to push the, 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 the PFA tube towards this end so that you can get your fingers on this piece of filament. So one of the first things you have to do when the, the print head heats up is you've got to physically push the filament into the extruder head until the extrusion takes place. So you've got to essentially help it through the extruder head just that first time and then it will start to pull itself through after that. So how do I stop that? Stop off? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you've just uh, load the model now. What, you, what? How are you going to video this? I'm just going to video the start of it. But I'll probably zoom in now, switch it off, and then zoom in. Yeah, okay. Can I disconnect it? Yeah.